Hi Pisces, welcome to your love reading. How are you? In this reading I will be looking at the current energies, the energies in the near future, the person on your mind, the new person coming in and other details. Let's uh, start. If you are new to the channel, welcome as well and I invite you to subscribe because I post videos every day. You can check the schedule, it is in the description box below this video. Okay, let's begin. Let's uh, shuffle two more times. What are the energies around you? Okay. The situation that you have been on has not been fair. Not very balanced. A disharmonious connection. And that's why things are moving very, very slowly. Uh, there's slow movement, slow progress. And I think you might have been in a situation where there was a one-sided connection. Somebody was giving more than the other. It was not fair. I have Libra here. I have Earth signs as well, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. What is affecting you in your subconscious is that you cannot find that middle way, that balance or harmony in your connections or finding somebody with whom you can work through the challenges together. You are aware that there are differences and not everybody is the same. And that is normal. But when somebody does not want to cooperate to find that balance and harmony, that is very difficult. And I think that what is affecting you in your subconscious is the idea that you maybe are not finding that patience that is needed and are becoming very impatient, very impatient that things are not working out the way you hoped or expected. What was the main challenge in the past? I think you were dealing with somebody that was very much into you, but they were not consistent, not reliable, and maybe they played some games as well. Or their attraction and desire for you diminished over time. I see you wanting a rapid change of the situation. You want that passion and intensity back into your love life. You want something uh, to happen fast, but you want more stability. You don't want something to come and go that quickly. And also you hope that if you are trying to give to somebody, you will get appreciated and you will get back the same amount at least of love and, and attention that you give to others. You want to try to give a little bit now in the beginning, uh, trying to be more careful and aware not to be taken advantage of. That is some of your fears that you have around connecting with somebody or with a new person. Now, before jumping to the new person, I want to see first the person that is on your mind, uh, what is on their energies right now. The Hierophant, uh, the Five of Wands reverse. I think this person is very aware that the situation with you was very dramatic. Uh, there were conflicts, disagreements, but now they want to make peace. I do see more stability or more a committed version of this person. With the Hierophant, they might even think about marriage. Now they know that you are their best potential for something long term. And that's why they contemplate a lot on the idea of sending you a love message or communicating some feelings to you. What is affecting them in their subconscious at this moment? They have confusion. They want to reunite with you. They want that, but they are not completely uh, confident that this is the right decision for them. Especially if you both will have more cooperation with each other. What is on their mind? They want to try to give to this. Six of Pentacles. Look at that. You are trying to be very careful into giving your time and love to somebody. They are trying to do the same with this situation because they are not sure. They are a bit confused here. I think they are dating other people or they have that in their mind as well. What is their plan of actions towards you? Uh, the temperance. They want to be patient. I don't think they want to rush anything. Uh, they don't want to talk right now. They are contemplating and thinking. So I do see this person wanting to message you. They are more committed type right now. But they don't want to talk. It seems to me like they are not fully confident into 
uh, moving towards you. Why is that? Page of Wands, Page of Cups. They are trying to make a strategy, a plan on how to make a successful communication. Um, now, I have a side story here. Some of them have been waiting for a message from you like an apology about something, a behavior that you did that they didn't like that much and they were waiting for you to apologize for that behavior in order for them to start this communication. <clears throat> That's what I'm getting here, but they are trying to calculate everything about their comeback. Do they see themselves with you or do they like to be with you right now? Do they have plans about that right now? Look at that. The Empress, they have feelings for you. They do have feelings for you. Not only that, but they even think about moving it further. Like in creating a family with you or bigger plans. Uh, making that connection of uh, the past stronger, deeper, more powerful. Moving it to the next level committing marriage uh, moving it to that final uh, stage growing uh, that love to something more that is the empress yes they do have feelings but they are not quite confident that the connection will be that smooth if you want to know even more details about this person there's an extended as well in the description uh, box below with even more details about this person now let's continue with the other scenario. If you're looking for a new person, let's see what is the energy of the next new person coming in. A deeply hurt person from a very recent breakup. I think that they might have been betrayed. Uh, they will grow feelings slowly for you. I think they will develop a crush on you, but they are not ready to jump. And... Uh, they use avoidance a lot and I think it is because they you will meet them in a moment where they feel hurt. But I don't want you to make a mistake here to be like their uh, savior and um, trying to be their therapist where you just listen to them and they heal from a past experience. That is not good. I want you to create for them a very safe environment for them to uh, to gain that confidence to to be more vulnerable to trust you so it's don't play like those uh, trying to too hard to uh, to get or uh, don't make it uh, difficult for them to to open up to you or to trust to you so if you have feelings for them i think that you should be more open to expressing your interest to this person in order to create that safe environment for this person to open up as well. Uh, what will be your feelings or interest in the beginning? Let's see about that. You will be a bit guarded. You will be a bit guarded. I don't know why. Maybe you will see this person as contemplating a lot or let's see why is that. Knight of Pentacles. In the beginning you will not see this going you will see that there is potential there long term for something beautiful happening here, but you don't see it progressing or moving that fast. You will think that, okay, this is a very hard work for you. This may take much, much longer to move it to the next important phase and maybe you want something faster. That's the kind of impression I'm getting. But as I said, you don't need to be so guarded towards this person. Uh, do they have what are their intentions the moment you meet them them uh, they're just leaving behind something that was not working i don't think they are looking for a connection when you will be meeting this person okay i have water signs here air and earth emphasized it is uh, this is a person that uh, avoids um, opening their heart and expressing feelings that is very evident here in this uh, in their energy. Okay, Pisces, this was your general reading. I hope this was helpful. If you like this reading, please hit the like button and share the video. If you haven't subscribed already, I invite you to subscribe. Uh, I wish you all the best and I uh, will see you the next reading. Bye for now.